Welcome. In this short video, we're going to talk about how to share your sources between Roots Magic and Family Search Family Tree. Now, I'm going to assume you're already somewhat familiar with the general working between Roots Magic and Family Tree uh, from watching previous videos so that you already know how to find matches and how to match a person in Roots Magic with the corresponding person up on Family Tree. So we can concentrate solely on, on sharing your sources back and forth. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to be working with Elizabeth Trathan in this video. So I'm going to open up her edit screen and you can see there's a number of sources for various facts in Roots Magic. Uh, there isn't a source for the death fact. You'll notice that there's no green checkbox, so there's no source for the death. And that's fine because Eliz our copy of Elizabeth that we've matched to up on Family Tree does have a death source. And so we'll actually be wanting to pull that down from there. The other source that we're going to be looking at is the one attached to the christening. And so I'm going to actually bring this up so we can kind of show how fields map back and forth when you're sharing data back and forth. So we have one source for this christening, a parish uh, register. I'm going to go ahead and open up the edit screen for this source. We're looking at the citation screen. Now this citation right here, that is going to transfer back and forth between Roots Magic and Family Search when we do the source transfer. Um, it doesn't really matter if you're using the freeform sources like we have right here or if you're using one of the evidence explained template sources. They will both transfer back and forth. Uh, the individual fields in a template source, those don't transfer individually to Family Tree because it does not support templates, but the completed put together citation will transfer just fine whether you're using freeform or the, or the templates. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over to this master text tab. This source text tab right here, or text field, anything you have in this field will also transfer back and forth between Roots Magic and Family Search Family Tree when you share sources back and forth. Um, Family Tree is going to have a limited number of fields, so a lot of things like your source comments, your detail uh, text and comments, those don't have a place up in Family Tree to put yet. As they add extra fields up there, we will support those. But for now, this source text field is what is going to transfer back and forth. And the last thing we're going to talk about are web tags. If you have a web tag for the master text, now detail text can also feel uh, can also have web tags, but the web tags attached to the master text, those are the ones that are actually going to transfer between Roots Magic and Family Search Family Tree. And a web tag is basically just a link to a website. Uh, it lets you link a website address to, in this case, a source. So if I edit this, I can see I'm linking from this source to this website address and this is the name of that website address. And in this case we happen to be linking to a factual family search page but we could actually link to an ancestry page, to a page on your own website, to a page on any other site that takes you to a website or an image of this particular source. Keep in mind though that if you do link uh, a web tag to a page on a pay site, one that you have to have a subscription for, that website address will transfer back and forth. But if you do put that up on Family Tree, um, it anybody that clicks on that will need to have a subscription to that particular website in order to be able to see the web tag that you just sent. So, But it, it is possible to do that. So web tags are also going to transfer. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop out of here. And that's that christening source that we were looking at. And that's important because that's one we're going to transfer uh, back and forth. Okay, now before we um, go into the actual family search tools here, I am going to bring up the family search family tree website. And I've gone into a family tree and in, found the tree and clicked on it and said, show me Elizabeth Trathan's individual page. And the reason I'm doing this is just to show you, as we scroll down, just to show you what sh we have for her in terms of sources. 
And in this case, you can see there's only a single source, uh, the Utah death certificates. And if I open that up and look at what it's tagged to, I can see that it's tagged to the death fact. Now, <clears throat> keep in mind that sources in Roots Magic and Family Tree work a little different. In Roots Magic, a source, you have a master source and you can actually use that and attach that to people, to families, or to any event, you know, birth, death, burial, marriage, whatever, any kind of event. On Family Tree, you can only actually attach a source to a person or a family. And if you've attached it to a person, you can also tag it to one of these six items. Tag it to the name, the gender, the birth, christening, death, burial. Not a specific birth or christening or death or burial, but just the concept of birth. This is a birth fact. Yeah, not a specific birth, but this is a birth fact. Okay, so keep that in mind as we show you a couple of things. So I'm going to go ahead and switch now back to Roots Magic, and we're going to go into the person tools for Elizabeth. And we're first going to look at the share data screen. And the share data screen is where you're going to see all the events and everything that you have for your Roots Magic person and all the events that you have for the family search person that you've matched to. Now, you may not really have paid attention a lot when you've been looking at this screen, but in addition to things like the name and dates and places for all of these events, there's also a little button out here to the right that says more details. And that's where you can see uh, the sources that you have. So it's not just looking at the date and place. So for that christening right there, if I click on that more details, it's going to show me that I have a source. And if I click on that link, I can actually see that source. And if I click on to view the record, I can actually see the page for that web tag for that source. So if I click on that, it's going to open up that screen and there is that family search page. Like I said, that could be for, it could be linking to any page. It could be linking to your own personal website or whatever. But it's it's clicking on that is basically going to clicking on viewing the record is going to just open up a browser and show you that site. Okay. Same thing works over here. If I click on christening, I don't have any sources for christening on family search. But if I go down to the death, you'll see I do have a source and I can go in and look at all the details there as well. Now you'll notice that it actually says sources can be transferred on the sources tab. These are basically informational to let you quickly see what sources you have for what individual facts. But when it comes to actually sharing your sources, you're going to want to go up here to the sources tab. When you click on the sources tab, you're going to see all the sources you have in Roots Magic side by side with all the sources you have on Family Search. So if I come right here, I can see that I have this source attached to Elizabeth Trathan and tagged to her death. Um, if, I, if I click on the little information, that I'm going to see the same thing that I did on that share data screen. But I'm going to click on the little checkbox. From here I can do several things. I can detach that source. I can actually take that source and detach it from the person. You usually don't want to do that. I can also change what it's tagged to. Right now it's tagged to death. I can go in and change that. I can tag it to other uh, to those other fact types that are available, or I can untag it from death. But what I want to do is I want to add it to Roots Magic. Okay, and that's actually the, the default. And so I want to add it to Roots Magic and I want to add it to the death fact. I can choose any of those facts that I have in Roots Magic. I can choose, I can attach it to the person, I can attach it to a birth and christening. But in this case, I just want to attach it to the death click OK, and that's all there is to it. I've, by checking the checkbox and saying copy it to the death, I now have, right over here in Roots Magic, I now have that source in Roots Magic. And we'll come back and show you that in more detail in a little bit. Okay, now this source right here is the one that is attached to the christening, and I don't have that in Family Tree. So I'm going to click and I want to move that over to Family Search. And I have that option, add this to Family Search. And so I can either say just attach it to the person, leave it at that, or I could say tag it with christening. Now you'll notice when I click on the christening one, it checks this. And that's because of that, that what I mentioned before, is that it, the source has to be attached to the person, and then it can be tagged 
to christening. You can't actually attach it to christening. And so when I check that christening, it actually automatically checks the person so that Roots Magic can add and attach that source to that person, then tag it to christening. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and do that. And then it's asking, what is my reason for attaching this source? Now, this is where I would actually choose why I'm actually attaching the source. This um, has the person's thing. Now, I don't necessarily have to do that. And if I don't, um, it's not going to be the end of the world. But if you do n have a good reason why you're attaching it, that's not fairly obvious, you know, this is an actual christening record, um, then, then you know, you usually want to go ahead and put in that reason. Family Search wants reasons for everything. Okay, so now I have that source in Family Search and it's attached tagged to the christening. Okay, and if I click on that little thing right here, I can see not only do I have the citation, this is in root, this is now on Family Tree. I have that citation that I used to have in Roots Magic, or and I still have in Roots Magic. There's the source text that I mentioned came over, and I can click to view the record because that web tag URL came over as well. Okay, if I go over here to the um, the death certificates. This is what came over from Family Search. The citation came over, and the link to that web page to the actual record came over as well. So let's hop out of here and show you. When I go back into the edit screen, there it is. I now have that death source. When I click on it, there's that death source. When I look at it, I've got the death source, and I have the web tag. In other words, I actually have a link to that web page uh, where the record is held right here and I can I can actually click and go to it if I want to actually see it so there it is it'll actually it, it actually not only brought over the source from family tree but it brought over a link to the page where that source was as well okay I'm gonna switch back over quickly to the family search website and I gotta refresh the screen here so that it reloads the sources and you're gonna see that when I scroll down here to the sources, I now have two sources. There is the death certificate I already had, and here is the parish records. When I click on that, you will see Roots Magic has added my web tag as the URL, it's added my citation, and it's added those that source text as my notes. And it's also, since I said that I wanted it for the christening, it is automatically tagged the christening. Okay, so that is how you can share your sources back and forth between uh, Roots Magic and Family Search.